My name is Dylan. I'm 27 years old. I'm a husband, a father, and I have cancer. Hey guys, it's me. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right into it on this one. Today is Wednesday, Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. Monday, I went to MedExpress Urgent Care for a cough that wouldn't go away and I started getting shortness of breath and uh, my chest started getting sore from coughing so much. So I went there to get it taken care of. And just as any good doctor would do, they listened to my lungs and sent me in for an x-ray. And the x-ray showed a large unexplained mass in between my lungs. So the doctor immediately started calling to get me in for a CAT scan. And I was sent in for a CT scan the next afternoon, yesterday afternoon. Uh, I got the results of that CT scan this morning and it turns out that I have a large mass in the, around the bronchial tissue in my chest and the scans lead toward lymphoma. I'm on my way now to Pittsburgh to hopefully get some more answers, which you guys will get just as, just as soon as I do. I'm not making this video for attention or anything ridiculous like that. I've started making these videos to document my life with my family and my son and my life just changed a little bit so no matter what the outcome of this I wanted it to be documented so that hopefully my son and I can look back on it someday so it's Thursday um, last time we talked, I said it was Tuesday and I, or it was Wednesday, and I said that we were going to the doctors to start talking to people. However, um, en route, uh, we got a call from the actual specialist and said that we had an appointment on Thursday, today, at 9.30 in the morning, and so... Today, basically what happened was we met with the doctor, with the specialist. Um, he walked us through the x-rays, walked us through the CT scan, showed us what was concerning, what they meant, and so now in a little more detail than the last time, um, there is a mass on my left lung. It's not actually attached to my left lung, it's just near it. Um, it's actually attached to some lymph nodes and it's putting pressure on my bronchial tissue, which is what's making it hard to breathe. So I'm constantly short of breath. But, so the evidence leads to one of three things. The most likely that the doctor believes is Hodgkin's lymphoma. The second option is, I forget what it's called, but there is big, long word. an organ that you were actually born with that helps create your body and once you have everything and you're born you're no longer in the uterus it's kind of a useless organ however 
just like an appendix or anything, it can rupture and create issues and oh, actually cause it's it, yeah it can continue to grow and cause basically cause itself to become cancerous uh the third option is a i, I keep screwing this up i call it a germy tumor but it's that's not what it is a germ it's cell tumor a germ, yeah, germ yes cell. a germ cell tumor um reproductive the germ cell tumor is a reproductive tumor so the basically my reproductive organs uh, put something in the rest of my body that didn't want to be there and created a tumor in my chest uh, that well the next step was for more blood work uh, and a ultrasound so they did an ultrasound so the results of the ultrasound suggested that it is not a germ cell tumor, which is a bit of a relief because the doctor seemed most concerned about that option. So more than likely it is Hodgkin's lymphoma. I have a biopsy on Monday which is the next thing you guys will be seeing. And that will tell us exactly what it is. Uh, this video is going to be filmed over the span of the next two weeks because that's when we will get the actual results of the biopsy and the process of what we need to go through, what we need to do to get this taken care of. I'm going to fight it. I'm going to beat it. I have to. What's up guys? Another update. Sorry all these clips have just been me talking, but it feels super weird recording in a hospital. So, <sighs> but today is Tuesday. Uh, had the biopsy yesterday. Um, <clears throat> super sore. Uh, the doctor said that he found some lymphatic cells while digging around in there, which again points towards lymphoma. Um, I have another appointment next Tuesday to discuss a treatment schedule and basically get things rolling to get this taken care of and I will catch back up with you guys at that point and just know that waiting has been the worst part and you guys are lucky because you haven't had to do any of that but yeah super sore no eating restrictions can't lift anything heavier than a milk jug which has made Ben not very happy with me he'll get over it but yeah first step to uh being okay again can't wait yesterday September 17th 2019 I was officially diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma I waited to record this because I wanted to make sure I had myself together and had a level head to be able to actually talk and relay the information that I wanted to. I also apologize if I'm talking quickly. Uh, this is the second time that I'm filming this because my camera froze and my battery is now on 8%. Hodgkin's lymphoma is a blood cancer that attacks your lymph nodes and organs. I have three tumors the largest being nine centimeters in almost the center of my chest. It's uh, pressing on my bronchial tube, making it hard to breathe and spreading towards my heart. This is the most concerning part for myself and the doctors. The doctors, I've spoken to a specialist at the Hillman Cancer Center in Pittsburgh, which is widely known as one of the best cancer centers in Pittsburgh or in 
the country or even the world. So I'm very, very fortunate to live this close to Pittsburgh in this situation. He's advised me that the best plan of attack so far is chemotherapy. He wants to attack it aggressively to keep it from spreading to my heart, which I am on board with. Uh, I don't have all of the information yet, but I will be making an update video to this. I have another appointment in less than a week to get the results of a couple more tests that I've had and get some more information, and I will be making an update video. <laughs> and I'll be making update videos throughout this entire process because I made this channel to document our lives and follow everything we do, and unfortunately, this is now part of our lives. I want to thank my family. They have been... They have been overwhelmingly supportive. Things like picking me up and taking me to my appointment so I can get an extra couple hours of sleep in the morning. Watching my son so I can rest on the days that I just really have no energy. And going out of their way to pick up food for me because I just had surgery and it was very hard to get off the couch. But thank you guys so much. It's making the whole process so much easier because I know that I have that support. I know that I have those people to talk to. Thank you guys. This does not mean that I'm done racing cars or building cars because Hodgkin's lymphoma is not going to take over my life. I'm still going to play with my son. I'm still going to spend time with my wife. I still have a life. And it's not taking that from me. And I'm making these videos to show my future self, my son, and anybody else that watches them, no matter what, no matter how dark life may seem, no matter what news you're given, you have to keep pushing forward. You have to keep moving forward. There, I will not stop fighting until the very end until I am in remission and I can say I'm cancer free. I had a much better ending the first time I tried to record this, but I don't remember what I said. So I just want you guys to know I'm okay. I'm not as sad as I feel like I should be. I'm more eager. I want I want to get this going. I want to start my treatment and I want to get over this. I want to show everyone that I am stronger than cancer. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being there.